I think you talk about uh, being a natural redhead with Susan. Let's watch that. <laughs> That's awesome. I feel like on behalf of all redheads from my lineage, we want to say thank you for representing us so well over the years. Oh, we well, appreciate you're it. You're so welcome. Yeah, just please ignore the fact that I'm now blonde. That's what happens when you live in California. My mother's still upset about it. Oh. So. <laughs> but um, I've loved you since Thelma and Louise. Another road trip movie. Which I couldn't help but see the similarities. Do you really love road trips that much? or? <laughs> well, road trips make for good movies because they make for you know, catastrophes and desperation and sure. and uh, anytime you have a, an excuse to contain people, something's gonna happen. I did hear a rumor that you love ping pong. I actually own a ping pong club called Spin, which is also in Toronto and Dubai and LA, and hopefully will be soon to other cities. And uh, we've been open now for five years. Wow. And I am a ping pong propagandist. I am not that <laughs> great of a player, but uh, I love that, you know, little girls can beat their dads and skinny little boys can beat the muscle guys. Wow, who knew? Ping pong. I know. It's that. freaking crazy. So she's like this, I, I was reading an article somewhere and she had said how she um, beat Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. And like they had this entire, you know, ping pong off or whatever. So she's just, you know, she's that girl. I feel like she should have been in Balls of Fury with Christopher Walken. Actually, that's how much she loves it.